Hello and welcome to PointWise's Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video we're going to demonstrate the voxel block extension to our build far field feature. On screen you'll see the completed surface mesh for the extra 300. The build far field feature is selection sensitive. In other words we have to select all the domains that we're going to build the far field for. So let's select all the domains on the extra 300 and there's two ways that you can access the build far field feature. Through the menu you can go to create build far field voxel or simply access the feature from the toolbar using this icon here. Let's walk through the build far field panel. The first frame you'll notice is block type. Here the user can determine whether they would like to use an unstructured tetrahedral far field or in this case an unstructured voxel far field. The next frame is the shape frame. And just a quick note, currently this voxel build far field feature does not recognize symmetry planes. That feature, however, is coming up in our next major release. Uh, the user can determine the extents of their far field. Uh, the user can do that in one of two ways. The user can define a uniform extent on the far field, or they can explicitly determine the extents of the far field in each coordinate direction. Next, we have the voxel frame. In the description of this video will be a link to last week's Tutorial Tuesday video where we go into these input criteria in more detail. For this feature we have the minimum edge, maximum edge, and the transition layers and the user can prescribe those explicitly if by unchecking the use default box. And the final frame is the T-Rex frame. Here the user can prescribe boundary conditions uh, and apply attributes to T-Rex for the unstructured block solver. Uh, they can determine the number of max layers, the number of full layers, and then the growth rate. Once you're satisfied with all the input criteria, you can either hit Apply or OK. Hitting OK will create an uninitialized block that you need to then go and initialize. So you'd simply select the block, and go to Grid Solve, and then initialize the block. Depending on the geometry you are trying to mesh, sometimes you can get islands of small voxel cells clustered around the exposed front, whether that's the original surface domain or the exposed T-Rex front if you're using T-Rex. One thing you can do to mitigate these issues is you get back into the build far field panel, there's a size field sub panel. And in the size field sub panel, you can change the size field calculation method from minimum distance to minimum value. This can help prevent those situations, or at the very least, combine those small voxel elements into a more complete layer. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.